Well, it's morning for me at the end of my week, so super excited to record this video. Um, I think I wanted to start by just saying that this week has been, oh, it's finally like happening. It's coming together. Um, the whole week has been exactly how I imagined things could be and even better. Um, I'm totally being floored by how much my students are interacting, by how powerful this is. I'm just... Ah, I'm so excited. It's finally happening and it's finally working. Um, all of the time and effort and energy that I spent is paying off and, and I'm really, really starting to see that now. So that's super exciting for me. So this week I really started thinking about how can I show that even better? How can I show others that? Um, in Idaho, last year was our last year of taking ISAT testing. And we took an S back last year, but it didn't get scored. Uh, at least those scores weren't released. And this year is going to be our first year with scored S back tests. So essentially, I don't have any kind of standardized scores to compare, like on one level. So it really actually was a good thing for me. It got me stretching myself to think about what are ways that I can show other people the progress my students are making. And for me, I can see the progress every single day. It's phenomenal. It's exciting. It's blowing me away. But I'm just going, how can I package that and show other people what my students are experiencing and how much they're growing? And so um, I think I mentioned before I started this module, I started doing pre and post tests. So essentially, I did a pre-test in Brain Honey. It didn't tell them what was right or what was wrong. It just gave them a score, and that score was not um, at all included in their final grade. And so it just gave us a benchmark for what they knew before we started the module. And then when they take their test at the end of the module, we'll have kind of something to compare to. So there's some numerical statistical data that we can use. Um, beyond that, on Tuesday, I started doing student video interviews, which was so enlightening to me. It's fun because they're so raw, the videos are. I mean, they're not like professional and they're not all planned and staged and scripted. And so you really get these high school students like totally raw with a camera in their face like, okay, what are you going to say about this program? So if you get a chance to see those on the blog, there's several of those up already. Um, Ben's. Uh, he's a math one student. His was just, oh, blew me away. I loved it. They all blew me away. It was fantastic. Just the things they said and seeing so many different perspectives. So I'm going to do more of that. And then that got me thinking, what if I did a formal survey? And so I created a formal survey on Tuesday in Brain Honey in my portal that asked five basic questions about what things were like at the beginning of the year, what they were like now, and it was just our first quarter survey. So every student filled that out and I started compiling data that way also. Um, working on a few other things, I've got transcripts printed out um, just to show maybe any students who had huge changes is what I'm looking for with the transcripts. So do we have any huge students that are totally falling off or do we have any students that are making huge leaps um, in the other direction? And I'll be honest, I kind of already know because I've talked to kids, which is why I'm pulling the data and I'm amazed at how many kids have been D and C and even F students in math and they're now A and B students. And it's definitely not because the curriculum's easier. Um, Common Core has stretched us and it's stretching our students and I love that. And um, Mathematic Vision Project is a rigorous curriculum with so many layers and it's deep and it's, oh, it's amazing. And I'm shocked at how that MVP curriculum mixed with blended learning and and then how I teach in my classroom is creating an environment and a situation for my students where they're excelling. I have um, a good percentage, you know, that are going up multiple letter grades than what they've normally seen in math. Um, and it's not because of some just number, you know, crunching, moving system. I mean, they're getting it. They're excited about it. So that was another point of data that I started taking. And then I think our school is looking into some possible um, testing situations for higher level math. So anyway, those are some things I've been exploring because I want to show other people, you know, on paper in different ways that my students are totally killing it with this program. I get to see it every day. I, I'm, I'm just not sure that anything on paper could be as exciting as what I get to see in class every day. But I still want to show people, it, this is so awesome. I'm so proud of them. I'm so happy for them. I want to share my students' stories. 
And so working on different ways to kind of do that. So on Thursday, I got exposed to, um, I don't even know how to say it right, I NACOL or something. Um, they're a international, um, oh, sorry. Anyway, so many things. I'm still learning. This is so still raw, but they're really focused on online learning. And so I wanted to show you this. I've got it pulled up on my computer screen. Let's see. Oh, and I know it's backwards. Um, anyway, sorry, I know that's kind of hard to see, and I don't think I can turn my... Let me see. I'll try to turn my computer screen around here for just a second. Okay, there we go. So this is kind of a framework that they've designed. Um, as far as I know, it's one of the first ones that's ever come out, come out for blended learning and blended teachers. Um, this was so awesome for me because it kind of put into a picture and into words um, the journey that I feel like I've been taking. You notice it gets wrapped around with mindsets, uh, new vision for teaching and learning, orientation towards change and improvement. Um, if you, oh, that just has to be so central to who you are as a teacher to be a good blended teacher. Um, qualities, uh, grit. I love that. Absolutely love that. Uh, it was not easy to start this process and you kind of had to have that resolve that I'm going to make it happen. The transparency with your students, with others around you of like, hey, I'm still learning. This still isn't perfect. Um, what can we do? And then that collaboration with your students, with other teachers, with consortiums and different things like that. And then obviously wrapped right in the middle are skills. I love that they didn't just put technical skills because that is important. We have to learn and grow in those areas. But I love that they put adaptive skills. Um, if you're a teacher that thinks well on your feet, um, you could probably do a well at blended learning. If you don't think well on your feet, it's a challenge. I I think pretty, um, I'm, I have one of those creative like ebb and flow personalities. And so when I think, I, I like to just adjust as it goes. Oh my goodness, that came in so handy for me. And honestly, it still stretched me. It still took me to a whole new level of my adaptive skills. Um, so that was something I wanted to share and I'll include um, that web link. It's actually a whole document and they have tons of resources, but I'll include that um, in my journal notes this week also. So I loved that tool and I loved that document. Um, totally just eating it up. It's fantastic. Um, just that website in general giving me so many resources and thoughts and it's showing me that huge blended world that's out there um, so I don't just see my small blended world like in my classroom or in my region. Um, last but not least, I just wanted to talk about Friday. So this week has been awesome. It has flowed like I've always hoped it would flow. It has just been incredible. And so um, Fridays have kind of turned into my benchmark days. So Fridays, I have benchmarks for, okay, you need to be completed up to this point. It's critical that you're here. And Fridays, I do a lot more one-on-one -on -one time, it seems like. And Fridays, I'm also um, really checking grades in a lot more detail. You know, who's keeping up, who's behind and just not turning things in, who is struggling with maybe some of our concepts, and who's excelling and just kind of killing it. Because I can see how many minutes they're spending online. I can see when their assignment actually got turned in. So are they turning things in just right away? Is it not taking them a whole lot of time to do it? And what can I do to challenge those students? Um, give them a few more opportunities that kind of stretch and push them. And so Fridays are great days for me to evaluate how has it gone this week? How are each one of my students doing? Um, I get to kind of compile all the conversations I've had with them that week, what their assignments look like, how much help they've needed, how many times have they come in for lunch study hall, what are their scores looking like, do they have any missing assignments, um, are they just killing it and doing everything really quickly. So anyway, I've found that that's something I wasn't expecting that's kind of um, happened in my classroom. So Fridays end up kind of being my benchmark days. and. It's awesome. I feel like I get to track the kids so much better because I'm not just benchmarking a couple times a quarter like in detail. I'm benchmarking in detail every single week. Um, and what I mean by detail is we're always benchmarking our kids. We're always, you know, observing their grades, observing their interactions, observing the kind of work they're turning in and, and the kind of questions they're asking. But it's different when you're able to actually spend time compiling all of that data and looking at it together and really assessing it. Um, so anyway, this week has been awesome. Uh, next week's Thanksgiving week and I have some cool stuff planned for my kids next week um, to kind of stretch them to um, be role models for other students and other math students. So 
can't wait to share that next week. And um, I guess we'll be on a video blog here in another few more days. All right.